Howdy folks, it is General Heed here. How is everyone doing today? So, for today's video, we are going to be doing a pretty fun experiment, and that is to see what happens if the Arbiter in Halo 2 is accidentally killed during a cutscene. So, how is this possible? You may be thinking, well, obviously we modded and uh, someone killed Arbiter during a cutscene, probably like the player or something, right? Well, no, actually. You see, on MCC, it's actually possible to have Arbiter killed in a cutscene by accident. So what happens is, during these cutscenes where Arbiter actually gets shot in a scene, like by the Heretic Leader or by Miranda Keys, those shots are actually real projectiles, they're not like simulated or anything. Uh, I believe like in some later Halo games, like if you see like projectiles or something, they're fake and they're not real. Well, because they're real projectiles in Halo 2, we can actually take advantage of that. And using a couple skulls on Legendary Difficulty, which is the Anger and That's Just Ron Skulls on MCC, we can actually get Arbiter killed during cutscenes. So let's take a look at uh, what happens. So with the Heretic Leader first, like I said, we are on Legendary Difficulty with the Anger and That's Just Ron Skulls on. Both those skulls basically make enemies and their shots a lot faster and more accurate, so basically more deadly. And that actually applies in cutscenes as well on Halo 2. I don't know if that's intentional or kind of a bug, but what it does is pretty hilarious sometimes. So here's what happens. Watch very closely to Arbiter. So right there, I don't know if you saw that or not, but we'll replay it again in slow motion. But what happened there is Arbiter actually died by the Heretic Leader's shots during the cutscene. And that kind of, and during the cutscene when the character dies, when a biped dies, it kind of breaks them briefly. And it freezes them or makes them invisible. But usually at the end of the cut, towards uh, like a later part of the cutscene, it actually fixes it and it gets back to normal. But for a brief moment, the biped is broken during the cutscene because it's dead. So let's take a look at that in slow motion again. So here we are. Arbiter is getting shot by the Heretic Leader. And because the skull is on our legendary, does a lot more damage and the shots are faster and more accurate. So he does, you know, he is able to take enough damage to die. And right there, when he actually dies, I don't know if you heard it, but he does make a sound there, and he just freezes. So that's the uh, Heretic Leader cutscene. The next scene where Arbiter gets actually shot by actual rounds in Halo 2 is at the end of Quarantine Zone. He gets shot by... he doesn't actually get shot by Johnson. Um, at least his shots actually hit, but it's Marina Keys' shots that hit him. And she fires a lot of shots in him because she has dual SMGs. Poor Arbiter in Halo 2, he actually gets shot a lot, <laughs> come to think of it. But, yeah, so, we're going to do the exact same thing that we did with the Heretic Leader, but with Miranda Keys this time. So, on Legendary, with the Anger and that's just Runs go on, it does still have the same effect on Miranda Keys and her uh, dual SMGs. Unfortunately, it's not going to have the same effect that we want, which we will see now. So here's what happens. She fires her SMG, and it does shred apart Arbiter's shields and makes him bleed a lot. And he even like makes pain, uh, you know, pain sounds. But he does not die, and it does not break his biped. So that, unfortunately, does not work. So why did it not work? Well, I wasn't sure at first. So on the PC version of Halo 2, I decided to mod it to make the SMG bullets do like a ridiculously high amount of damage. I think it was like 100,000 damage or a million damage, something like that. Basically, a single bullet should be instant kill no matter what. But, unfortunately, even with super high damage for the SMG, it's the same effect on uh, as Legendary with the skulls on, without mods. Only, you know, his shields do get shredded apart like a split second quicker. But it does not kill Arbiter during the cutscene. So apparently, it seems like his biped is invincible during the cutscene. But I didn't give up there. <laughs> Since we're modding, I decided to go all the way and just make her SMG shoot out rocket projectiles instead. Which, uh, <laughs> which does work. And you will see in just a second uh, what happens with her rocket projectile SMGs. It's pretty crazy, and it, it, that's what it takes to kill Arbiter. So, yeah, it... <laughs> it's so many explosions that it just kind of like gets rid of the bipeds entirely, including Ranikis' own biped and Johnson's biped and Arbiter's biped. His biped does spawn in again like at this part, but it's it's kind of like messed up. It's still semi-animated. It's not frozen, but it's uh I don't know. It's just weird, and sometimes it's like not visible either. So 
that method is effective at breaking this biped. But just like with the um, unmodded cutscene on the Heretic Leader mission, it uh, it does fix Arbiter after a little bit. Now the last thing is a bonus. This is not Arbiter specifically, but this is another character that does actually get shot sometimes uh, during the cutscene. And that is the Heretic Leader during the scene where he gets in the Banshee and fly away. And then as he's flying away, Arbiter does briefly shoot at him with his whatever weapon he's holding. Well, on Legendary with the Anger and that's just Ron Skulls on, it doesn't really matter what weapon you use. Uh, even if your shots do hit the Banshee, it, well, it doesn't do enough damage to kill the Heretic Leader. Or his Banshee. But uh, thanks to my friend Saad, who's another uh, Halo YouTuber out there. Uh, this is a while ago, and I actually did cover this in a previous video, but I wanted to uh, cover this again. He did uh, figure out that if you, you know, do super high damage on a carbine or another weapon, and Arbiter shoots the Heretic Leader's Banshee, it does actually blow up and kill the Heretic Leader during the cutscene. At which point, the result will be, well, <clears throat> it, it breaks the cutscene <laughs> completely. It doesn't just break the biped. Because the cutscene's waiting for the Heretic Leader to basically fly around and sometimes shoot a few shots back in the room. But because that never happens, the cutscene does not end until you skip it yourself. So it does totally break the cutscene in that case. But I do want to once again thank Saad for that, uh, that clip again. That was, I don't know, this from way back, but you know, do want to thank him again years later. <laughs> but anyways, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video and found it to be amusing and interesting. If you did, Make sure to leave a like, as always. Uh, anything else for me to check out, any other experiments we're going to do, or any questions you have, feel free to let me know in the comments, and I'll definitely do my best to look into it when I get the chance. But other than that, if you haven't already, do make sure to subscribe to my channel, and I will see you all next time. Bye, guys.